what you want me to do it on your go. Hello, David Waters. Here is the video I promised for you being nominated and giving hope campaign for the diversity award. Um, I'm going to read it because when I think about doing it, I cry, and that wouldn't be good for the award right now. But I just want to thank you for everything you've done to help us. Uh, my name is Deborah Weekly. I live in Hull. It's on the in the Boston Harbor in the United States. I've never personally met David Waters, yet via cyberspace consider him one of our nearest friends and colleagues. His work can never blend in, and the Give Him Hope campaign has literally helped to save our lives. I am the spouse of Reverend David Weekly. My spouse has been an ordained elder in the United Methodist Church for 32 years. My spouse is a transsexual man, having transitioned female to male nearly 40 years ago. To my knowledge, he is currently the only out pastor serving in the United Methodist Church that is transgender. In 2009, after 28 years of ministry in stealth, we came out to the UMC and the world regarding this truth. Since that time, life has been a roller coaster ride. David Waters has ridden along with us, supporting us all the way. Our truth did not make everyone happy. Some told us we should be stoned to death, that our love was akin to bestiality. Some tried to have my husband's credentials taken away. Some have left the United Methodist Church because we exist within it. There has been much stress and oppression. Some days felt hopeless. David Waters has been there with us through it all, offering support, positivity, interdependence, solidarity, and hope from across the ocean. I believe the Given Hope campaign should receive this diversity award. Thank you, David Waters, for your authenticity 